Thanks for joining Idaho News 6. I'm senior reporter Don Nelson. The $118 million expansion project for the Idaho State Veterans Home was scheduled to break ground this July. That was until last October when the VA in Washington put the entire project on hold because of something called BABA. Oh, for heaven's sakes, this, this building is six, built in the 60s. And the way it is, it's old. And things are not quite right for us people, us veterans, whatever. Skip Neto has been a resident at the Veterans Home for five years and looks forward to a new facility, but he has heard there has been a delay. That brings us to BABA. On the surface, the Buy America, Build America Act, or what's referred to as BABA, makes sense. BABA requires that certain federally funded projects use manufactured products produced in the U.S., but here's the rub. Many of the construction products they need for the construction of the new Idaho State Veterans Home are not available domestically. Most LED lights, elevator components, electronic switch gears, HVAC components, those currently can't be purchased in America that meet the BABA requirements. They have to be basically components are shipped from all overseas. Some of those components are assembled in America, but that doesn't meet the requirements. Mark Shample, director of the Idaho Division for Veteran Services, says because the VA is picking up 65% of the cost of the $118 million project, it is essential they get the funding. The state was told to apply for a waiver as a workaround for those specific non-domestic products. They told us we were going to get a waiver for over a year and a half. And then in October of 2023, they called and said, nope, Sorry, we're not going to give anybody any waivers. Governor Brad Little and Idaho's congressional delegation are involved, and they are just as frustrated because they have done everything that the VA has asked. You get the lowest cost bid, you do all the work, you design the facility, you design the remodel around what's logical, makes sense, and then you say you can't have a waiver. I reached out to the VA in Washington, and they said in a statement that they are working closely with the state of Idaho to help ensure that this project is compliant with BABA so it can receive VA funding. But the project is set to break ground in July, and they need the waiver to be compliant. So I asked the governor what's next. Is there a plan B? Is there a way to, to work around this? I'll see the secretary in two weeks. The governor's meeting back there and they know I'll be looking for him. This issue is not going away anytime soon. Governor Little and our congressional delegation will continue to try and get that waiver approved so they can get construction underway. In Boise, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson for Idaho News 6.